Okay, here we go. Yes, greetings. This is you here, Gemini. Okay, and this is Terra Illumination, and this is your January 2019 Micro Astro Doodles report. <clears throat> okay, this is just kind of a heads up. I feel uh, obliged to offer this to you guys. I make these reports anyway. You know, it's old school, handmade, artisanally crafted. And I have to do it anyway because of making uh, personal reports for clients and so on. <clears throat> so we might as well share them, okay? Now it's going to be a really dynamic month, okay, for everybody. Uh, reason being for multiple things. Number one, all the planets are going direct just after the new moon, January 7th. Imagine a big river. Everything moving at maximum velocity and energy. Uh, no impediments. It's just like the green lights are on everywhere. All over, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, and more. Chiron, everything. I'm not sure about Chiron, sorry. Anyway, so basic days for everybody. The new moon Capricorn eclipse, January the 5th, okay? It's a huge cluster. It's a massive Capricorn stellium, okay? So be prepared. The next thing is that we have Mars and Aries all month. And that, that could be quite sweet for you. You're very compatible with uh, Aries energy. Number uh, three, like the really sweet spot, is Venus moving into Sagittarius uh, along with Jupiter from January 7th onwards. Okay, so the rest of that month is going to be sweet for you in that department. Wink, wink, nod, nod. So uh, towards the end of the month, uh, we have another sweet thing for you guys. The Aquarius energy is very uh, comfortable with you. So the sun is moving into Aquarius January 20th. At roughly the same moment, we have a full moon lunar eclipse. Okay, the moon will be in Leo, sun will be in Aquarius. So the basics are we have big eclipse, big eclipse, all planets direct. Okay, that's kind of the big news. So that's why it's such a dynamic month. You know, with eclipses, they are like spiritual gateways, you know. Uh, whether it's a new moon or a full moon eclipse, either way, it kind of functions as a gateway. With the new moons, it's all about new beginnings. So what are you leaving behind? With the full moon, it's all about culminations. What are you realizing and what, do you, what have you now realized that you have left behind and where are you going? You might be feeling you're heading deep into the unknown, okay? So please allow for that. <clears throat> Okay, so this is your personal astro doodle here, Gemini. If you need to cross watch, you know, for significant others, watch for your sun, moon, and rising, all of that stuff, it can really help, you know, understanding these things. Think of this as like a little miniature uh, weather report. We call it an astro doodle. All right, so for you, Gemini in particular, here is the sweet spot, okay? You've got Venus and Sag uh, Venus and Sagittarius coming, and alongside with Jupiter, which is already there on its new journey, starting at January 7th. So this is really sweet for you in terms of opening up new opportunities, adventure, uh, new horizons, new wisdom, new understanding with your most important relationship or relationships, like a spouse or mate or a business partner. This is the house of open enemies, the house of marriage. They're both extreme energies. Uh, one can be as, you know, like a really, a marriage that's good is fantastic. A marriage that's bad is the worst thing you can imagine. So, and we see it all here at Terra Illumination. So, <clears throat> So this is really sweet. You might as well make advantage of that and uh, enjoy it while you can, okay? The heavy duty energy is over here with the Capricorn eclipse new moon in your eighth house, shared resources. So this is very close, you know, the seventh, the eighth is right next to the seventh. So what is going on in your most important relationship with a significant other and how is that affecting your intimacy? The deepest soul intimacy going deep into the soul of yourself with the other, to the other going deep into the soul of you from themselves. It's like the, the energy of deep soul merger. It also includes joint finances, joint resources, joint uh, connections of everything. Just like when people mate and their DNA forms a new thing, you know, their DNA, your DNA, put it together, whew, a new thing. That's what we're talking about here, birth, procreation, and death strong uh, eighth house type energies so it's a new beginning here okay so please be aware of that gemini it's a very very strong uh, vibe 
and uh, you may not be prepared for it. All I'm suggesting is be prepared. This is all I can do to help you is to be prepared. <clears throat> Next, towards the end of them, oh, actually, let's go Mars and Aries over here in your 11th house. That's just going to be sweet for your sense of like optimism with an activity and excitement happening with your, let's say, your, your dearest friends and your hopes and wishes for society uh, in how things should and would work best for the world. And you've got an awful, awful lot of energy to supply there. The next thing towards the end of the month, the sun enters Aquarius over here, your ninth house of adventure, uh, going beyond new into new horizons, travel, foreign uh, learnings, uh, understandings, new wisdom coming to you. And at the same time, the eclipse over here in the third house, which is like the Gemini turf anyway, you've got the full moon lunar eclipse over here, January 20th, sun will be in a uh, Aquarius and Moon will be in Leo. I hope you can see this. I'll hold it still for a moment. All right. So, you know, you can do the action replays and rewinds if you have to. So with the eclipses here, this is in a very harmonious position for you guys. So it's a really good opportunity for you to like, uh, because of the Aquarian energy, it could be a really like, uh, uh, like what they would call what some people call those those light bulb moments where everything kind of blasts open your higher consciousness is blasted open and how does that higher consciousness blasting open translate into your every day-to-day -day life of just communicating get, and getting by uh you know the way you relate and communicate to people the way you listen to people the way you speak the way people hear you you know all of that stuff and you might be feeling like you have more to offer in terms of wisdom, knowledge, communications, understanding. So you might want to bring it to the world in terms of being able to be a better communicator about what you've discovered up here. All right, so I'm just going to leave it at that. If you really want to get into it, you can get in touch with Terra Elimination. Check out the links below or the end screens and all the buttons. You know, there's a little button up here. You can see that. Uh, watch for your sun, moon and rising. Crosswatch for significant others. Consider becoming a member. That's the best thing you can do to have support and help and uh, register your uh, appreciation for Terra Illumination. Uh, also consider the healing events, okay? Check the links below. Bye bye. Oh, and you, yeah, Terra Illumination is there in person. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. All the best.